<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel for a brand new current household except i actually haven't played this household yet i've gone ahead and set up the backstory i have a little idea of what is going on here and i just wanted y'all to be a part of like the beginning stages of this current household because i'm really excited about it there's just something super unique about sierra and her story that like speaks to me a little bit. It definitely gets my creative juices flowing and my storytelling gears turning. I don't know. I just really, I'm really pumped for this current household. Anyway, um, I created Sierra in a creative sim just like randomly for like a thumbnail. And I was just like, I love her vibe. I love her essence. I love that she has like a short bleached blonde shaved hair. She's a woman of many interests and she actually has an aspiration to just live life. This aspiration is a custom one, and I believe it was created by uh, Midnight Tech. And the cool thing about this aspiration is it literally just allows your sim to live life and experience all that it has to offer. So, for instance, Sierra, she's starting out right now. She just got her brand new home. Granted, it isn't much. She's been saving towards it. And now she needs to establish her life in Oasis Springs by finding a job, making some new friends, making a BFF, and and going on a date, which definitely complicates things a little bit, because I don't know if you noticed who she's hugging on, but <laughs> we'll get into that in just a second. And then phase two is just settling in, learning how to cook, going to a festival, earning a stable income, and having three amazing dates. And then level three is settling down, throwing a holiday party, having a boyfriend or girlfriend, getting engaged, making time for you. I love this. And then the last and final stage is just simple living life, reaping the benefits of all of your hard work, getting married, starting a family, having a healthy savings account, and then eventually retiring and just simply enjoying life. I'm so excited to play through this aspiration on my own time, but also like a part of me wants to do this with you because I don't know, I think y'all would like this ish. So anyway, um, my mouse is being sticky. So it's gonna be a lot of talking and I do apologize. We'll hopefully get to play a little bit here, but uh, let me explain uh, what is going on. So right now, now, Sierra, she just finished unloading her belongings. Thankfully, she had trusty Isaiah and her bestie, Remy, come over and help out bring the stuff inside because I don't know if y'all noticed, there's a heat wave in Oasis Springs, as you would expect. You could bake chocolate chip cookies on the sidewalk right now. It's so damn hot, all right? Your nalgas are sticking together and it smells like juju juice in your butt crack. You know, Sierra isn't really one for the heat, but um, she definitely, definitely likes to cook in the kitchen. No, I'm just playing. Uh, but all jokes aside, she brought in her things and she doesn't really have like a lot to be honest because she lived in a very small apartment in San Mychuno and she's been saving up like crazy like mad um, to be able to afford something to call her own to live her life and maybe eventually start her own family further down the line because Sierra is very young she's probably around like 22 23 you know so she's, she's got she's got some time the only thing that she really has is a handy and trusty lamp and we definitely need to do um, a little bit of shopping. I mean, I, like I said, I want to, well, I didn't say this actually. <laughs> I take that back. What I wanted to do is I really want to, I guess, live like realistically, right? Okay. So like I'm on my own gameplay, I like to play re like, like life. I, I, I don't have just a magically furnished house that I moved into that is like, you know, showroom ready. Um, I want to purchase like things in increments and kind of furnish this place as I go along. So we'll do a little bit of that today. I'm really excited. And this house is like reminding me of like Sims 2. So this entire save y'all is by Simlissy. I'll link it down below. And uh, I just, I don't know. I think it's cute. It's, it's definitely rough around the edges, but I think we could have a little meta Morphosis here, like both figuratively and literally both the house and Sierra. Now, let me just dive into the dynamics because I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk. <sighs> Isaiah, oh my God, he is the one that your mama warned you about. He is a party boy. He is still very much in his... I don't want to say selfish phase by any means, but he's very much about himself. He actually has a very strong love for Sierra. 
Um, he really oh, likes her a lot. And believe it or not, they actually met like way back at a, like, um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they met at a club. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's fine. Uh, and then they kind of hit it off. And even yeah, though he's yeah. typically, you know, kind of one of those, you know, hit yeah. it and quit it type of dudes. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. He's just, he's just always had this profound respect for Sierra. Let me just make something really quick. No, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Don't expect amazing culinary skills from, from a girl Sierra here. It's just not going to happen. I can't make something. Okay, you know, a grilled cheese is fine. I'll make four of those. Remy already went home, and I gotta talk to you about that sitch. So anyway, Isaiah, Sierra, the crush, banter, playfulness, a lot of unknowns, like where is this gonna go? Isaiah doesn't want to settle down, but he doesn't really want to like... You know, it's just, it's weird. It's awkward between them. I, I I wish I had a more fleshed out story, but things are still very much up in the air. Like, I actually don't know <laughs> what exactly is going to happen with them. And I love how he is just in here watching her grill up this cheese and talking to her about the house and how excited he is for her. And maybe she'll let him come over and stay for a little bit. And she's like, oh, boy, you playing. He's like, you can catch these balls. No, I'm kidding. He didn't say that, but, you know, I'm just playing around. Isaiah is very familiar with Remy okay Remy is Sierra's protective bestie Remy is like family ride or die like boy I will put you in a dumpster if you hurt my girl type ish like this girl uh this girl is like this girl is literally Remy's everything and they have known each other for such a long time um that you know Nobody saw that, Sierra. You're fine. They would never let anybody hurt her, and they're super protective over their bestie, right? Okay, whatever. Um, To the point where, you know, Remy doesn't trust Isaiah's intentions. Like I said, Sierra's a big girl. She can fend for herself. I'm sure she's got this on lock. Um, but ultimately... Uh, I get it. You're worried. It's fine. Um, but yeah, they're not they're not friends. <laughs> like they don't like each other like at all whatsoever. And it's weird because they used to live together. <laughs> Remy and Isaiah actually were at the club when um they all well, I guess Remy in a way almost introduced Isaiah because they were both at the club. Sierra's at the club, and then you know, Remy's like, Hey, this is my mate, my friend Isaiah, and then when things got kind of weird between them, Remy picked sides, right? And then was like, No, you're not gonna do that to my girl. Because he was leading her on a little little bit so anyway that's the dynamic that was a lot to digest that was a lot of talking but that's just kind of what i'm dealing with right now so i don't know if he's gonna grab a grilled cheese that he's just gonna be staring at managas the whole time but i think it's time for him to leave so i'm just gonna say goodbye thank you so much for your help sierra definitely wants to take a shower i'm really excited to see what happens with their dynamic and their relationship if it's just you know simply as friends or maybe later down the line isaiah does grow up oh i didn't tell you this but Currently, Isaiah works as a bartender at the club. You know, it's it all it all ties in. <laughs> Even though I'm a little fragmented here, he loves to dance and he's a little non-committal and he's a bro. Okay, so like I said, in his party phase, Remy on the other hand, lactose intolerant. Sierra found out the hard way. Sierra's just cleaning up. She had to get a glass of water. I definitely want to put some of these boxes away. All right, so I had her unpack those things, and as you guys can see, we still don't have any furniture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take this lamp. I'm gonna definitely utilize that. I'm gonna put it in the corner. We do have our little decor box. Sierra loves to decorate. She's super excited to be able to do that in her house. Like she's amped because, as you know, decorating an apartment can be complicated at times. Now, obviously, we need to get Sierra a bed, right? Because she she doesn't have one, <laughs> and I don't think she wants to sleep on the floor. Eventually, her goal is to like renovate this place a little bit too. Maybe put in some brand new hardwood flooring, bring it up to speed because we're very much living in the 70s era when it comes to this little I don't even know if it's a rambler or a trailer I'm not gonna go like super crazy on the um furniture like I might splurge a little bit for a bed because like <laughs> Sierra is a big sleeper she loves her she loves her cozies and also like these swatches on the bed they just fit her so well like the colorful like fun loving patterns all that they would give me like a literal headache. I would feel like I was, um, you know, in a fun house, but Sierra loves that ish. So I just need to find an end table that kind of complements the bed. And maybe I'll just stick with, I don't know. Do you guys ever like, okay, like I know this is such a weird and dumb question, but do y'all put like, like this? Do you do two, do you do two bed sedans or do you like do the hip thing and just do one? No, I feel like maybe two is too much. Um, but usually yeah, I do do two. Uh, so I think I want to grab an alarm clock. I told you this. 
heavy sleeper over here. Probably will never wake up for anything. Um, and then I want to grab, oh gosh, I thought we brought uh, the yoga mat from the apartment. Oh no, I might have left it. It's not a big deal. I, I could just always buy another one. I'm going to grab a little full size length mirror here. Um, let's do this really pretty green swatch. Actually, I don't really like that too much. Uh, maybe I'll do like a lighter. Do I have like a lighter? Yeah, that's cute. I love that. Yoga mat though. So that's another thing that Sierra is super into. Um, wellness, uh, self, self awareness, and just really taking care of, uh, her body. That is also very important to her. Now, thankfully we have a cute little place right on the back of the porch here where we can get our stretches in. I love that. Although I will say this particular yoga mat kind of blends in a little bit. I want to get something that might be just a little more colorful. I guess this one's kind of cute too, but I don't really like that one either. Uh, maybe I'll just do like a regular colored yoga mat. We'll do like this kind of turquoise sea, sea green. It's sea green, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so we got our bed. Okay. We got our little hamper. Nothing too crazy. I need a laptop for sure because I don't know what kind of job we're going to get. Right. And I just need to be able to have access to the interwebs. We still, thankfully, thankfully we still have a lot of money because Sierra was very good about saving and, you know, just collecting her coins and securing, securing all the bags. <laughs> so she she could buy this place and again I know it's not much to a lot of people but to her it's everything and it's a fresh start and I'm super proud of her so we're gonna put in these old little bar stools those are super cheap found those on the marketplace I think that's it really um actually I kind of wanted to grab a couch too if that's possible I don't want to spend everything because again I envision like as we go um I'm gonna want to upgrade stuff and I say we what does that mean Jen I don't know <laughs> so should I get like a beige couch I want to add color in here so bad but like the floors are just throwing me off this might be a really good place to put in like the smallest of televisions i don't know if there's an appropriate sized end table that will like fit this little nook perfectly i know there is but i'm not sure if i see it um okay maybe this would be okay for now like i said this is rough and rugged we're starting off like don't expect some showroom floor shenanigans or you know stage homes it's not gonna happen tv i definitely want to get a somewhat decent tv and i feel like this is still a lot of simoleons to play around with um but for now actually you know what can we throw in like one of these chairs of many colors and i know what you're thinking this is bad okay but like she's starting off we also need to get like a little like dinette maybe like a little dining room table over here um and then stereo is also something that or like music actually is something that is very like important to sierra she loves to listen to music and things like that so maybe if i could snag myself a little uh like end table well not end table is this end table no this is an end table what is that i don't even know um if i could get like a little like side table or something maybe throw this in the living room and uh we could put the speaker on top of that i think that would be really cool maybe i'll just grab another one of these that looks so bad <laughs> i don't know if i like any of these okay how about this one no i don't like that either okay you know what i don't even care at this point we're just gonna keep it on the floor <laughs> like we are starting off here all right don't expect don't expect anything super duper bit fancy i'll just leave it like that and i'm gonna grab a little table Okay. All right. See, I told you lots of talking. So if you don't like me talking, this is going to be like, you're really going to be, um, trying to peel your eardrums out right now. Peel them out. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let me center this a little bit because even though I don't really care how things are looking, we have standards, we have standards. So what about this carnival reclamation chair? This swatch here with like the little yeah, I like those. Okay. Um, and then I could lighten it up a little bit too, but like I said, we'll just leave it how it is for now. And I'll put our little decor box back there. So I do, I do actually, you know what I like, I need a vacuum. Oh my gosh. There's like so many things when you move in that you need, like, <laughs> I didn't even think of these. I also want a pet. Oh my God, there's so much I want to do. All right, let me grab one of these Dirt Herders Upright Vacuum by Suck It Up Industries. And I'm going to get a pink one because Sierra's that bitch. This is her house, right? So of course she's going to want to like 
yeah she's gonna wanna she's gonna wanna be able to purchase the items that she wants so we have like 1400 simoleons do you see how quick we ate that up like we just we just we just scarfed it down yeah we did all right so i think that should be it and i don't know if i want to get like a coffee machine or anything sierra seems more of like a tea person to me so one last thing one last thing i promise i feel like this is so much like to walk in it's crazy i usually don't play like this but it's fine um I want to grab the tea maker. Where is that? Oh, there's also a waffle maker. Oh, I love me some waffles. And the tea maker is about 200 and, uh, well, 276. I'm wondering if this is where the table and chairs are supposed to go or was it supposed to go like here? <gasps> I don't know. What do you guys like better? Hold on. Do you guys like that better or do you like it by the window here all right humble beginnings we see you i love this i need to have sierra find a job so what i'm gonna do is have her hop online so i just made a video of like <laughs> a million ways for your sims to earn money so you can do like side hustles like where you're uh proofreading content and uh, maybe like you know doing online surveys and things like that and you can earn like a quick buck or a quick simoleon and then also you can earn as you learn so any skill that you want your sim to hone in on they can earn some simoleon millions or if you're looking for something um you know a little more permanent a little more uh you know that requires a little more of a commitment there's this there's this sim deed recruiting service where you can like have um 20 different jobs like three tier le three level three tier level jobs to choose from i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but i have a whole video on it in case you're interested ignore this over here i had to like reset this in order to select a branch for sierra it's a whole thing with this particular um uh, mod but it's really not that big of a deal once you get the hang of it now i just don't know exactly what i would like sierra to do like a part of me actually could see sierra being like a veterinarian and caring for animals uh something in that field of like you know i don't know just like take care like taking care or caretaking <laughs> um i guess because she just she just has like that that essence but also like a customer service might be like something she could do i could see her being very charismatic so customer services do you love karen's getting yelled at on the telephone great this is a crew here for you we're kidding of course no one will yell at you and if they do palm them off to the supervisor so we would make only 16 dollars an hour and maybe this is where sierra starts she starts in customer service and works her way up to the career of her dreams, which I don't even think she knows exactly what that is yet, but it's a job. It's going to pay the bills. And we also get weekends off, which means hero, we get to go out. We get to have fun. Uh, we get to, you know, party hardy or whatever. Um, so that's exciting. OK, we officially have a job now and we just need to make some new friends and have a BF, BFF and uh, go on a date. And so I love how Sierra is just sitting here like, cool all right so so now so now what like what do, what do i do from here and to be honest with y'all i don't i don't really know i think on the slide when i wasn't looking sierra texted remy and let them know that she just landed a brand new job and she's super excited to finally plant roots and then remy texts her back and says congratulations do you want to go celebrate tonight any chance rem can get to go out and have a little bit of fun um obviously they're gonna seize the opportunity did y'all know that remy was trying to take us to the weird <laughs> werewolf hangout yeah no <laughs> sierra wasn't about that business <laughs> at all whatsoever so we decided to uh go somewhere a little more familiar so here we are at the stargazers lounge i definitely need to like update lots and kind of make things a little more new and whatnot um i haven't done all that yet but we'll definitely do that as we go and then i want to order some drinks for the group let's do it we got 832 simoleons big ballin let's go who are you ma'am excuse me <laughs> D devon you can get out of my um space devon Okay, let me just like what, what's what's going on over here? Like I'm so excited to grab a drink and for some stupid reason now my drinks aren't working. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna grab because I'm feeling super fancy. We're gonna grab maybe a von Hunt. Let's do that. I'm not really a, a red wine type of gal, but I'm definitely. Ooh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, I was like, I'm on. I'm like, I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> I guess I guess you do earn a little bit of fame, right? For uh, ordering drinks and stuff. I definitely need to put like some new sims in the save too. Even though, even though, um, oh my gosh, she's got like the same haircut as I do. I love it. What's her name? Oh, it's Brittany, Brittany Cho. Yikes. Yeah, no, that's a celebrity. We don't, 
we don't we, we they, <laughs> levels okay we're not there yet um but yeah she really wants to meet some new friends i would love for her to meet some new friends i don't know if we actually have to be friends but in the uh in the simlissi save here uh rem come grab your drink please there's a bunch of brand new like faces and sims and stuff so i can't wait to kind of meet them and and get to know them as we go but lucia looks kind of fun none of these people look like anyone i would actually like talk to who's this guy over here oh dorian okay dorian like you're kind of cute <laughs> call over sure this this wine is like hitting right now so we're feeling a little ballsy where is my sierra did she did hold on what I, someone i think someone remy i think someone stole your i think someone stole your drink and remy's like okay well then just ask him over if you think he's cute like why do you gotta be <laughs> He took one look at Sierra and was like, night night. He walked away. I'm trying to have like a little karaoke sesh here with uh with Rem and Rem is not having it. What a freaking party pooper. But I love how Sierra is willing to put herself out there and willing to try new things, even if it does mean uh, making a baboon out of herself sometimes. Rem is grabbing a nice little plate of chips. This is definitely a fun night, but I feel like it could be so much funner. Honestly, it's 9.30. It's a Saturday. I have the weekend off like at this point I want Remy and I to like go to the club and do something a little more I don't know a little more like uh, you know energetic a little more eventful because to be honest like this is kind of like I don't know it's a little dead here tonight Remy and Sierra decided to hit up club spectrum which is a lot by little Simsy and it also just so happens to be where we met Isaiah and where Isaiah moonlight sometimes so you know you go to where you feel comfortable even though to be honest with you uh, I feel like it I feel like the suggestion by Sierra wasn't like coincidental I mean Remy obviously knows that Isaiah works here right but I mean at this point Remy is just trying to be you know super supportive of their friend and the promotion and the big day and I'm not gonna lie like this was a much needed night out but <laughs> Sierra must be getting old because she is tired y'all like she is so sleepy right now that she feels like she could just crash so we might just be here for a little bit longer um, not as long as we normally would stay at the club and heck who knows though i mean you say that you're gonna leave in like 30 minutes and then you end up staying for like you know an entire hour and then there's that guy dorian that we saw earlier but i'm not really interested in like uh meeting anybody and uh we have thorin bailey who is looking delicious and oh hi paula and uh your cheeseburger your little cheeseburger belly wait, 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 wait aren't you supposed to be home who's this jordan curtis you know jordan actually looks really fun to hang out with so maybe i'll uh, go and introduce myself to her and you know i don't know if that will help um me make some new friends i think we actually need to be friends with four different sims we're already friends with two but they don't technically count and we already have like a sentiment towards jordan so we feel like um oh <laughs> we feel like jordan's in dreamland and jordan feels like we're funny that's a little it's a little awkward definitely not reading the room here but but um, speaking of bartenders, we have Knox, and I think before I go, I'm gonna grab a little drink. I think I can actually grab like a beer up here and oh my goodness Sierra is feeling so hyped right now <laughs> she's definitely having a lot more fun than I am I need to get some townies in here though because I feel like all of these people are just not you know just not my bag but that's okay it, sometimes it's like that you know you have a good night at the club a dead night at the club it's a thing you know it's totally a thing CC is definitely in the mood for one of those five dollar beers I think we're gonna go for something a little bit lighter so we're gonna get a corona nothing like scarfing down a cold one through the cranium I do wish these animations are just a little bit better, but it's fine. We're going to go and chat with Julia, and Sierra is just... <laughs> Well, she's feeling a little, she's feeling a little sluggish right now, but at least we're having a good time. And I wonder where Rem is, still on the dance floor, dancing their heart out. A part of me wants to come over and grab a picture of us at the nightclub, even though I think I already have a photo with Remy that we haven't actually uh, put up yet, but I'm gonna still take one with, with Remy while the night is hot. Freaking Sierra's hat, y'all, is in the way. I'm gonna try to get a better picture here. <laughs> this is 
so awkward. I really don't like how some of these pictures are like not in the frame, but this one's kind of cute and goofy. We have a little bit of the uh, club lights behind us. I think even though I would love to stay for a little bit longer, it's time to call it a night. Who comes home from the club at three o'clock in the morning, jumps into their jammies and makes a plate of waffles? Uh, Sierra Robbins does. That's who. <laughs> we're super hungry and feeling a little tipsy. So I think we're going to make, I don't even know, we're going to make, we're going to make just some classic good old waffles with the syrup. Yum. That sounds absolutely delicious. I, I really do need to get Sierra in bed before she ends up doing something she regrets. But these, these waffles are smacking. Anything else that we need to do right now? Uh, yeah, just make some, just make some new friends, make a BFF. I actually didn't ask, uh, Remy to be my BFF, even though we are BFFs. So I guess that would kind of check off that task. Now I do have a couple photos in my inventory that I would love to put up. Um, some of these are a little bit dark and you can't, you can't really, you can't really see. I thought I had one with Isaiah. Maybe he took the picture and he actually has it, but I'm going to, you know what we should do? Do I have the ravishing? I think I might actually, um, I'm going to grab, I, I just need to grab something really quick. <laughs> Give me a second. And just so you know, like this is more of like a play with me video. So it's not like super edited or like, you know, like really, um, I wouldn't say necessarily uh, scripted, but it's not story. Story, well, it's story based actually. I just, I love how there's just a brick. <laughs> What was I going to say? But yeah, it's just a little more, it's a little more chill with me. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see all this? I don't know if I actually have the, uh, ravishing photo. I don't think I do. That would be super silly. Okay. No, I do. I do. I do. I do. And if I get a cork board here, I'll be able to actually start putting these up. I kind of want them next to the bed. So it's like the first thing that Sierra sees in the morning when she wakes up. It's very possible that I just spent five minutes trying to relearn this mod, but in order to transfer it to like a Polaroid, you actually have to create photo gifts. I was right the first time. And then you select Polaroid and you can um, click the photo that you want. And then I think there will be a duplicate. And apparently I've done this twice now and it should be in my inventory, but this one's blank. And then this one actually has the picture. And I think this is the cutest, like I love of this so much y'all have seen it before i'm just gonna i'm just gonna can i bring the hard drive over i don't need it but i think that's a really cool way to like start storing um like your extra photos so they don't like clog up your um your inventory i don't know if that's how that works but it is four o'clock in the freaking morning right now oh my goodness we definitely need um to turn in for the night because i am literally exhausted and our toilet is absolutely freaking disgusting it's super super stinky i just need her to get a little bit of rest she doesn't need to be like well rested but i mean i definitely want to try to get in as much as i possibly can and then what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have her kind of wake up early. We're going to do a little household chores. We're going to, you know, polish to perfection. We're going to use the bathroom, which is a little bass backwards. And I think I'm going to make myself like a nice little tea, you know, start the morning off right in a brand new house. I'm definitely thinking of purchasing maybe like some sort of incense or something. I wish we had like wallflowers in the game and you could like, you know, switch out the cartridges and stuff. I think that'd be like fun. I don't know. Anybody else care about that stuff? Maybe not. Let's do some healthy green tea. I was wondering why Sierra keeps getting nauseous. I thought maybe it was something that I was feeding her, but it's actually from the lot trait. So, you know, this is definitely a fixer upper type of deal. That's why it was so cheap and affordable. Um, but ultimately this home here has the Grody, I guess the Grody lot tree, which is making uh, Sierra feel a little nauseous because <laughs> it's very possible there's like a, an odor or a scent. You know, this is an older trailer for sure. So maybe it just reeks and it smells like mothballs. I'm not sure. I really like these chairs. Like I know this whole house is so like, it's just, it's confusing. Um, But I really like the way it looks. And we only have $699 too. <gasps> I might come over here and have her work some side jobs. I'm not sure. I am thinking about getting a companion, but we'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to clean this up really quick and try to get outside as fast as possible because, well, oh, wait, she wants to listen deeply to music. How do I how do I do this? Can I do this through my headphones? So turn up the volume. Okay. Um, I think I just can bring my stereo outside. Oh my God. No, Cece. 
<laughs> she just threw up her tea and it was green. Has anybody else kind of noticed that Cece's a little bit of like a clean freak? And I mean that with the utmost respect. And by no means is that a bad thing. I mean, she cleans up after herself. Great. It's just not something I'm necessarily used to seeing in my game. So let's turn on a little bit of music. We're going to do maybe some... I don't know, easy listening, is that okay? And then I'm gonna turn it up too because, you know, she really wants to listen to it deeply. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I'll make sure that I kind of edit it so it's a little bit lower. But yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful morning. <sighs> We're listening to the birds chirp. The sun is on our face. It is hot as heck. I love it. <laughs> uh, we also live right next to a bowling alley. Probably reason number 532 of why this place was so cheap. But I mean, I definitely would like to go and check it out. I want to get more lots into the save. I want to get more sims into the save. Hot tip. There's some great performers playing at the flea market this week. You up for a visit? Heck yeah. Sierra loves the flea market. See what I mean? Like he gets me but he doesn't <laughs> he really doesn't though I would love to go to the flea market she's like sure Isaiah I'm doing a little bit of yoga let me throw on some clothes and you know I'll be I'll meet you there um but I don't know I really don't know what to do about this boy I think it's just too soon you know but also going back to the whole like we don't have like a lot of townies in the state it makes sense because she just moved to Oasis Springs like she literally doesn't know anybody she only knows people from Sam as you know which are her two friends so maybe that will change maybe Sierra will meet more friends and won't be so dependent on um Isaiah I don't know we'll have to see so oh she changed her clothes cute she really likes this hat though I feel like she changed her clothes maybe she's wearing the exact same Thing she was wearing earlier um is there any way that we can change her clothes because i feel like she's kind of wearing okay no she she did she was wearing this now she's now she's wearing that okay i'm gonna come over and uh let me see <laughs> first kiss yeah no definitely not happening oh, gosh i don't know why this boy makes my heart skip a beat he's tall he's thick he's got muscles upon muscles upon muscles like he definitely makes my heart skip a beat for sure for sure um let me see uh we can also ask about day ask i get to know yeah let's just do that i know this is kind of weird and a little like out of pocket but let me grab a poster <laughs> real quick you you know, it's just, let's just pretend it's one of those slips. You call the number on the back and somehow if you sell it, it earns you money. But we are feeling really focused right now. I think we're going to come over here together because the whole reason we came was to show a little bit of love to Charlotte Hartley. This is a new sim. I really like her. Uh, let's watch the performance together. Oh my gosh, Isaiah was just literally telling me about her. I love how Sierra's like, Remy, you'll never guess who I'm with right now. And Remy's like, girl, <laughs> I don't want to freaking hear it. Just, you know, just, 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 yeah, be careful, be careful. That sucks because like I said, Remy and Isaiah were friends at one point, but now it's just like, I don't know, got awkward, got weird real fast. But yeah, this is fun. This is super fun. This is actually a lot more fun than the night I had last night. We're going to. We're gonna throw Charlotte a little a little tip here if possible. Maybe it's too late now because Charlotte is uh oh my gosh, that is such a cool guitar. I mean, I kind of like her. She seems like she would be the type to play some, you know, really calm, cool country, some easy music maybe Sierra could get into. So wow. Okay. Stingy much? <laughs> Wow, she's like, sorry, I don't do autographs. I'm so famous, honey. Nobody knows your name. <laughs> nobody knows. But we can take a selfie with her, like an actual selfie, or like a pretend selfie. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Well, while we're here, well, let's check out the flea market. There's a little voodoo doll. And kind of weird that we would purchase a voodoo doll, but Sierra would literally purchase a voodoo doll. Now, as smart and as intelligent as Sierra is, especially with her simoleons, you can't tell me, you can't tell me that, you know, every now and again, she might splurge on something she doesn't need, like a freaking voodoo doll. I don't know why she needs a voodoo doll, but she seems like she'd be very spirit spiritual too. Like maybe somebody... Oh, I smell good. Thanks, Isaiah. You smell good too. Um, <laughs> somebody who would... Oh, he's over here... <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you see this? This man, he's over here, like, breathing, like, the freaking, like, a fire dragon, like, Spyro. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, what was I saying? Gosh, I totally freaking forgot. Oh, tarot card reading. I could see it. I could totally see it. 25% off. <gasps> that makes the voodoo doll just right within my budget. Yes, I did spend my last simoleons on a freaking voodoo doll. How much is this worth? 950 Bitch, turn that ish for a profit. Anything else on this table I can't? No, I can't afford anything. Where's Isaiah? Oh, he just, he just tipped her. I wanted to tip her too. Can I, can I go back? I mean, she was a little rude, actually. So maybe we'll lower that tip to like a $5 tip instead. I think that's actually a really good idea. And I kind of want to take a, a picture with Isaiah too, because I could have sworn we had taken one in the past but not a biggie not a biggie at all we'll just take one now and uh yeah get in there i love that photography is art see here seems to be enjoying framing the perfect shot should she gain the likes of photography sure i guess yeah i mean why not <laughs> she seems like she has many interests and that's kind of like you know hard for her because she isn't really sure where she wants to take that in life. What do y'all think about him? I think he's cute. I do, but I don't know. I think she could do better. Eh, is that mean? I don't know. Maybe it is. I mean, at least be with somebody or like invest your time with somebody who kind of knows what they want. Although him taking her to like watch this performer and check out the flea market festival was absolutely incredible. I do need a lamp actually. And I like this one, but it's 176 millions. Now I know this is a little bit strange and maybe like uh, peculiar and this wouldn't happen in the real world, but maybe I'll go over here and grab another one of these posters. We are at the, um, waterside warble. Is that what it's called? And I think we could come in here, maybe grab a drink. Like, I feel like I've been drinking way too much, but it's, it's my moving weekend. You know, it's like time to have uh, a little bit of fun, a little, a little bit of fun. Okay. That was only 70 simoleons. Would I dig in the trash? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I think maybe if anything, maybe I should, um, come over and, uh, buy Isaiah a drink since we already watched the performer and I probably should get home soon and i've noticed this um notification coming through on my social bunny so maybe i should maybe i should check this out too that pillow fight was euphoric i feel like i'm glowing who are you pillow fighting with uh oh wait i think we actually had a couple people react to our i wish you could see how people react i'm, I'm gonna kind of be well i don't know if i want to react like confused but we're just gonna we're gonna laugh we're gonna laugh at this because I, I have no idea um hey sierra sierra i invented a new word plagiarism that but that's you you are you i mean yeah she talks to herself sometimes but i didn't feel like that's that's a little weird is, is, is like does that happen to anybody else i don't know uh what should we grab who's this guy oh he's cute uh anilio did i say it right i have been like i did oh my god he's super cute okay order a drink let's do it for the group we're gonna keep it cheap this time oh my gosh 40 40 dollars for some eapas i'm okay though i'm down hopefully i see i didn't leave i think he might have actually bailed oh no he went to go to the bathroom okay that's fine <laughs> so yeah we're sitting down having a cold one together that's fun so zay how's life been dating anybody <laughs> you know giving giving them the old run around tell me how you really feel boy i'm just like i'm so freaking weird like literally this is probably how i would be playing <laughs> It wasn't you guys weren't with me. I mean, I just would be thinking it in my head, but now I'm just saying it. Um, we still haven't listened to music deeply, so maybe we'll maybe we'll do that and we'll get in our feels a little bit because this is the part of Isaiah we like. We can be ourselves around him. We can be funny, silly, goofy, and where he would pass judgment with other people. He doesn't pass judgment with us. Like there's just like this unconditional, unconditional love bond, what have you here. And I don't know. I'm really, I'm really into it like I'm, I'm really into it but it's just you know sierra's gotta sierra's gotta protect her heart so we're just staying for this beer um because we do have work tomorrow i really do want her to work on some skills like we have to reach level four the charisma skill and 
we have like no business like at all like in this job um but i'm gonna just give him or tell him an unbelievable story maybe something silly happened at the house or whatever uh and it was really great seeing him like i always have a good time i'm gonna give him a hug a goodbye to you and then i think we're probably gonna head home maybe go to the bathroom and then like make ourselves something to eat i definitely need her to like start working on her cooking skill and he's like it's always a great time to see i'll see you next time today's also new skill day so this kind of works out perfectly even though we've uh, already completed it i'm gonna have sierra she needs to use the restroom so let's have her do that she's gonna pee like a champion she is feeling pretty chatty right now i'll see it's a good thing we left <laughs> it really is um maybe i should have her make some dinner i oh three simoleons what can we do what can we do um she wants to order food from a market stall it's a little too late for that actually you know what <laughs> we're falling on a budget right now we're gonna eat some leftover grilled cheese she beelined it she's like actually you know what it's a little it's a little hot here i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some tea so never mind we're gonna grab a little tea and we're gonna sit down and just kind of enjoy our solitude oh this place may not be much to a lot of people but it's sure as hell everything um uh, minus the stench to to sierra so let me have her come in to the okay she's just feeling so nauseous i'm gonna exit out of that because that's rather annoying and i might actually have to change a lot trade at some point but i'm gonna have her come in here and we're gonna practice our speech a little bit you know kind of prepare uh for tomorrow and isaiah's calling i'm a little nervous hey sierra i've been thinking about getting a new job um what do you think oh really i want to be supportive but like i love seeing him sometimes at club spectrum like i know where he is i know where he's gonna be i think you should follow your heart that's all i can say i don't know right now i'll take some time to consider he does make pretty pretty okay money as a bartender obviously hello look at the man but ultimately sierra wouldn't feel right being like stay put you know you gotta you gotta follow your heart my guy like i mean i'm doing that so that's pretty much um, the gist of it. Now, if I wanted to make some money, I could have done that. And I just could have had her work on her charisma through the um, laptop. But that's fine. Uh, maybe I should bring this. Let me just put this in my inventory real quick. I'm going to come out and grab the speaker. I'm going to put that in inventory. And then maybe while I'm making some dinner. Because I actually do need her to work on her cooking skill. I mean, we can eat the grilled cheese tomorrow. I, I really think that... Can I drag this? Why isn't it placed into world? This is such a weird... Wait, hold on a second. Why would you make a speaker portable, quote unquote, but then like in order to put it places, you have to have it in your inventory or not your inventory, but you have to use build by and you can't like drag it out of your inventory. Uh, that's, that's just weird. But we're going to have her come over and listen deeply to your music. Isaiah is calling again. Remember that job we talked about? I got it. Oh my gosh. What kind of job? He's a retail employee. He's a retail employee. That's what he decided to do. He decided to go into retail. Nothing wrong with that at all, by the way. Like, I worked retail. It's just a really tough job. I feel like I would almost rather be a bar back, but that's fine. Like, hey, cool. You know what? I, I love it for you. That's amazing. Um, good luck. <laughs> but I need to serve dinner right now. So let me see what I can make. We can make some mac and cheese. Thank God my girl is not lactose intolerant because I truly don't even know what Sea Arrow would be making right now if it wasn't grilled cheese or mac and cheese or things like that. But we have a few more hours, like literally 11 hours until our first day of work i'll have her work on her charisma and her own time and she never ate this grilled cheese it's just sitting there sierra is the type of son that will not go to sleep with dishes on the table or in the sink or anything like that so she is literally washing the dishes before she goes to bed but we have a couple other whims here she wants to play an instrument and she also wants to level up in that handiness skill you know being self-sufficient is definitely um a goal of hers but right now we need to get her a little bit of shut eye because our first day of work as a customer service agent is literally right around the corner good morning beautiful rise and shine wake up sierra 
Oh my gosh, she's many things, but um, you know, she uh, she's not a morning sim, that's pretty damn sure. We also have a little whim here to stargaze with Remy, so obviously some quality time with the besties in order. Feeling a little hungover from the week, I don't know, I'm not gonna even lie. And right now we'd be whipping out some some MJ just to calm the nerves. I don't think I'm allowed to do that on here. I might though, I might, but we're broke. We can't even afford it, even if we wanted to. But they do say in order to cure a hangover, have a shot, right? But no. We're not. We're just gonna have to ride this out for sure. Uh, Salsa Bunny has been blowing me up. Let's go check it. Um, get you a bestie like Sierra. Legit can't live without them. What is going on? Why? Like, why is it like you know? This would have been cool if it was Remy. I would have loved that, but I don't know what the heck is going on. There's something wrong with my social bunny, so I don't think we're gonna be paying much attention to that. But um, Sierra now has to go to the bathroom, which I, I mean, what was the what was the point of that actually? I, I don't know. How are we feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so what was I gonna do? I feel like I was gonna do something this morning. I actually totally forgot. We do have to go to work in about a couple hours. She's feeling nauseous yet again. Um, maybe I'll come over here and do a little yoga routine family friendly like what is that what does that mean what is what is family friendly <laughs> like what's the opposite of family friendly i'm curious i'm also really curious to know how much your bills are going to be and considering we spent all that money uh on that freaking voodoo doll i could have her listen to her earbuds too we don't always have to bring the speaker outside i think she kind of forgot that she has these what a great way to start our day we're feeling energized we are feeling the uh bracing of the breezes it's also been an excellent holiday i kind of wish we were able to like come down like this trail and take a dip in the water i think that would have been amazing just because you know it's really hot here so it made a lot of sense but we have about two more hours left until work actually we start work in i don't know 52 minutes and then isaiah is saying congratulations on that big promotion you deserve it and or congratulations on landing that job like you know good luck today i think that's more or less what he was trying to say like good luck today and we need to eat something super quick maybe grab a little grilled cheese i think sierra is probably gonna like walk to the office because she doesn't live that far from downtown oasis springs it's time to go to work all right good luck cc kill it on your first day girl i'm really excited but also like kind of nervous for her too Aww. sierra just got off of work and today went relatively well for the most part um the only thing is, is we only earned 96 millions and our bills have just been delivered and they are 810 freaking dollars i don't know how exactly we're going to be able to afford that and isaiah wants to go to the humor and hygiene festival with me but we need to figure out a way <laughs> to like grind it out right now this year leslie holland has asked me out on a date should I say yes? <gasps> what? I know I feel like this is a trick question. You should think about it for yourself. I, I don't want to be the one to play Cupid or matchmaker. And I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. Like, that doesn't even that doesn't even sit well with me. I don't even know why he would ask me that. Uh, but let me actually have uh, Sierra pick out a new outfit because she's been wearing this one for a little bit. And I just kind of think it's time. So we're going to plan a brand new everyday. Is it everyday? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell if she's wearing like an everyday or um. I love the way she walks, by the way. Like the way she swings her hips. But I can't tell if she's wearing like an everyday or like a you know hot weather wear outfit who cares all i can think about is freaking isaiah and this leslie yeah, chick whom i have no like idea who the hell she is now keep in mind there are new townies with this the simless cc file i just haven't met them all so there could be some hidden gems in here who honestly knows i'm gonna take this hat off because it is just it is just too hot it is like way <laughs> way too freaking hot right now and i like these jeans because you can kind of pair them with everything but maybe what i really want to do is like try a dress or something kind of you know or actually maybe even a romper this romper is super cute i like personally love like this oh my gosh wait hold on she needs to shave her legs her hair is growing in i didn't even realize like not that it's a big deal she would rock it like she would rock her natural hair that's not a problem at all um but I mean, I think right now, because sometimes, you know, you know, when your hair grows out, it can get kind of scratchy, you know? <laughs> I think she might want to shave it. I don't know. I'm going to put on these little platforms to actually, maybe not. Maybe those don't look the best. We could just go with a little slide. Something casual, not too crazy. I kind of like this, even though I feel 
like these match a little bit better. This is just more serious style. So we're gonna go with this little outfit and I kinda wanna change the lip to something a little bit lighter and brighter. She does have her lip liner on, so let me take that off as well. And then, what can I put on her? Maybe like a lip melt? Oh, I love these so much. I need to make more stuff. I always say that every time I wear my, wear my own makeup. I'm like, ah, I need to make more. Oh, this color is so pretty on her. I love that. And I kind of just like it how it is without any lip liner. I'm getting real tempted, y'all, to sell this voodoo doll. But like at this point, I made a decision. So now I feel like I have to commit to it. We're going to get in the bathroom really quick and shave her leg hair just because, you know, we're going for that uh, smooth and clean shaven look. We're exhausted, too. So I don't know how I'm like accomplishing all of this. But I want to come over to where is it again? I think think it's the earn as you learn I could do that but that's just kind of I don't know I, I like the concept of you know being able to earn money while you skill build that's amazing but also like I don't know sometimes I feel like it's cheating so I mean we'll come over and have her do some like online surveys for a little bit just see to see how close we can get to this eight hundred dollars because <laughs> if we don't we're gonna be um in the dark <laughs> and it's hot so that just does not sound like a good time. And I'm going to turn on some music. We're going to listen to, I think she was already on it. I love it. We're going to listen to jazz. I feel like jazz is going to be like one of her favorite stations. And then we're going to do like a low volume, you know, kind of get in the mood, bust out these online freaking um, online surveys and hopefully earn some money. And again, if y'all want to see like these little job hobby side hustles in action, definitely check out the video that I did like whenever, like a few days ago, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to grab a little snack some quick leftovers and I think I might actually end up wrapping this video up here I was super tempted before I let y'all go to take on an odd job but then I realized it was like 10 o'clock at night and uh, we have work in the morning I did want her to work on her charisma skill just a hair before her next shift and I'm, I'm gonna still definitely go for it and I almost forgot y'all to uh, put up up that picture of me and Isaiah so I'm gonna go and do that really quick let me grab it this one actually they're all poor quality normal normal no excellent okay I'll just take this one and uh, we'll put this up here and I think that's like super cute like our little a little friend board um but yeah I want to do an odd job too so I don't know if I can like squeeze one in before we go to work if that's even at all possible no we go to work at nine it's not gonna happen like because odd jobs or like the you know odd job I guess company whatever <laughs> office they open up at eight so it's not gonna happen now is there anything that we need like ASAP stat no okay uh let me see we're gonna practice some speech and I know that I said I was gonna wrap up this video but like I'm literally hooked I've had so much fun just sitting and chilling and vibing with you guys and just playing the sims as if I was playing by myself but the only difference is I'm kind of talking aloud which you know hopefully y'all don't mind this type of video it's probably freaking long I think it's like over an hour which is pretty crazy to me but again it's just kind of like you know playing the sims in the chillest form so it makes sense that it would go kind of fast now of course right before we are about to leave we're literally starving oh my gosh i might have to cut my losses on this freaking voodoo doll y'all because our bills our bills are due and uh, we only have like a couple more hours i feel before they like turn them off isaiah's calling again it's good to hear your voice here i wanted to ask you if i should get to know james murphy a little bit more as a friend like why is isaiah meeting all of these people and like i know nobody can i meet co-workers socialize with co-workers maybe potentially we can meet a new friend at work i don't think anybody else actually oh he's coming over to say hi to me the land grab power company has shut off your power oh my god the land grabs are absolutely ruthless what do you even mean i just moved in hold on did some lissy put some stuff down here i just realized there's this really cool hangout place to like fish and also 
light a bonfire. This save is sick. Casey, sorry to bother you while you're at work, but I guess in the end, Leslie Holland and I weren't made for each other. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. You know the struggle is absolutely 100% real when you gotta start rummaging for summer decorations or any decoration for that matter just to turn a quick little profit. We're trying to see if there's anything inside our little decor box that could actually be sold. Wait, what is this bucket of sunshine? Yeah, we're gonna sell all of those and we're gonna sell the rabbit's hat. Now we have like 574 simoleon, but nobody has ever said that living on your own and being self-sufficient was gonna be easy. I just hope that we didn't get in over our head and that this place was just too much to take on because I really didn't feel like we spent that much money. I mean, look at what we bought, like barely anything for gosh sakes. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and officially wrap up this video here. If you would like to see more of Sierra and her life, whether it's through like current household updates or some more play with me videos, just let me know in the comments down below. If you want me to upload um, Sierra's friends, Remy and Isaiah to the gallery at Gen Six of six. Also, let me know. But in case you're interested, Sierra is already up there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. But don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk. It's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now, and it could fade away. But it probably won't And I should let it be